Hi, I'm Dr. Roy. Thanks a lot for visiting Dr. Studio. I just wanted to make a quick video about Studio Scalp, which is essentially PRP injected into the scalp with the microneedling um, uh, technology for hair growth. There's lots of reasons for hair loss. There's lots of reasons why one might benefit from platelet-rich plasma. I'm really excited that some of the studies have been published and um, uh, consumers are being made aware now of this great technology that helps to regenerate that hair growth. As a functional medicine physician, however, I realize that there's, uh, again, a lot of underlying issues and reasons why um, uh, women and men might lose hair. Women in particular, you know, there's male pattern baldness that is likely associated with a genetic uh, propensity for the hair follicle to respond to DHT, which is dihydrotestosterone. Um, there are lots of, of other reasons also that a man can uh, lose his hair, but quite frequently the hair loss for men is associated with, with testosterone hormone. Uh, lots of things we can do, certainly PRP, um, a DHT blocker, um, different, different medications to, to help decrease that sensitivity of the hair follicle are pretty well known and um, some of us use a lot of them. But for women it's a little bit different. There can be a male pattern baldness. There certainly can be the same genetic propensity to testosterone that we see with men, but quite frequently it's an autoimmune process, um, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is the most common cause of hypothyroidism. I find very often a cause of female hair loss. Um, even, even some pretty significant hair loss can be associated with diet issues and not diet issues that you necessarily think of. Uh, from a functional medicine perspective, I am injecting platelet-rich plasma, which I know is gonna stimulate the follicle to grow, but I'm also um, looking at the underlying cause. So in addition to um, the actual PRP procedure, I would strongly suggest that you seek out um, a physician who is a functional medicine physician, doesn't have to be me by, by any means, uh, but a functional medicine physician who's putting the pieces together for you. And, and what's prompted this video is I had a patient this morning come in, 37 years old, beautiful woman um, with significant, significant hair loss. She saw the PRP procedure on um, one of the recent news channels. It might have been Dr. Oz. There's all kinds of reports now happening and uh, that's exciting. And so she couldn't wait to get in my chair because she said she'd given up hope. So I'm very, very excited that she made it to my chair because what I have um, uh, informed her is that, you know, PRP to stimulate the hair is great, but then we have to keep the hair. And so there's ways of figuring out why she, she has this hair loss that, that really must be pursued if we expect her to continue to uh, enjoy the benefits of the procedure. So for instance, she had irritable bowel, has irritable bowel. Um, she has signs of significant food sensitivity, irritable bowel being, being one of them. She has um, diabetes, and it's an insulin resistant types diabetes. She has high cholesterol. She has metabolic syndrome, so she has a large, uh, larger waist circumference plus the hyper uh, uh, cholesterol and, and the um, insulin resistance. I suspect she may have polycystic ovarian syndrome. So here's the funny thing, really easy to figure it out, really easy to fix from a functional medicine perspective, and then really easy to do the PRP procedure. But if I only do the PRP procedure, we can grow some hair, but then you know, there's no reason to, to believe that she wouldn't lose that hair again. And um, uh, you know, we don't want that to happen. We want to use all of the tools that we have to identify the underlying cause and, uh, and then to stimulate a regrowth that will last, that will really stay. Does she need one procedure, two procedures? Hard to say. If we really identify the underlying cause and, and change her, her diet or lifestyle, supplement her appropriately, regulate her immune system appropriately, no reason to think that, that we wouldn't get great results that are long lasting. So just thought as a customer uh, service, as, a, as an educational raise awareness, 
I would I would let you know that uh, these procedures are fabulous. It's an amazing tool that I now have in my toolbox, um, but really should be part of a comprehensive approach. And this patient has been everywhere. She's been an endoc endocrinologist, reproductive endocrinologist, or primary care, uh, who's an internist. Um, and everybody's looked at hormone levels, uh, but not with a functional medicine eye. That's the key. My practice is loaded with patients who have come from traditional medicine without any real answers. All of the hormones have been normal, for instance. Uh, you know, it's not normal for a 37-year-old to have IBS. It's not normal for a 37-year-old to have diabetes or dyslipidemia, hypercholesterol. You know, these things are not normal. Normal. Are they common? Yeah, it's happening more commonly. Uh, not normal, not optimal, definitely can be reversed have to understand what's happening underlying, and these are the kind of patients that um, functional medicine physicians like myself see every day. So, great tool PRP when added to the toolbox and when offered in a comprehensive manner. If you go to a physician who has one tool, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna get some help, but we may not solve the issue. When you go to a physician who has lots of tools and they know how to apply these tools, and they, they think in a global benefit, um, wellness, holistic, however you want to call it. I say head to toe, I say optimize the machine, and then everything is fabulous. And um, um, I say don't paint over wallpaper, you know, do the job to um, correct the problem and, and then go ahead and use this PRP, and it's awesome. So thanks for your time. I hope to see you soon.